Hi, this is the Face and Body Reading Channel. Today I wanted to talk about Stephen Paddock, who just shot almost 60 people dead and injured over 500 in the largest mass shooting in modern US history. Firing machine guns from a hotel room in Las Vegas onto an open air concert. There's a lot of confusion about his motive. Originally ISIS claimed responsibility, although the link couldn't be substantiated. Then it turned out his father was on the top 10 most wanted list of the FBI, but he had no prior criminal record. So what I want to do here is look at the interview of his youngest brother, Eric Paddock, in front of his house in Florida. In particular, I wanted to compare his interviews he gave on day one after the shooting and day two after the shooting. I'm interested in any deception in case he knew anything about the shooting and also analyze his behavior. Okay, here's day one. So this is a sign of disgust, it's a facial expression of disgust, and it's a very open body language and hand gesture. He's obviously disgusted about his brother's behavior. But I, and I, I nothing but condolences. My wife is in a basket case. She's Totally destroyed. It doesn't make any sense that he killed those people. It makes no sense that he did that. There's no. My brother. So he makes this emblem with his hand. This is a sign of being completely dumbfounded when he reaches to his head and does this emblem with his fingers. So he's um, completely puzzled. I my mom on the phone two weeks ago. I'm just. It doesn't make sense that that guy could do this. When did you talk to him? He has no history of violence in any way. She so he's almost a little bit comic, yeah? Girlfriend, they'll find this out. He's never hit any. He's been divorced twice. He's friends with both his good friends. Wiley shows little signs of grief at this moment. He's completely puzzled. He's in shock. He's in disbelief. He's completely dumbfounded. Let's look at another one. No police record. He, has, he doesn't even have parking tickets, probably. There's. He makes his emblem with his fingers again. How did you hear that he was... We got phone calls. The Las Vegas PD were cooperating with the cops. We. So he has his eyes wide open. He is completely confused. Talked to the PD. We... <laughs> Raising his shoulders. Another emblem for not knowing. And I go, wow, the next one ever did that. All I've ever seen him do is mow his yard. Um, the fact that my brother did this is there's no there's nothing <laughs> if you could once again your message to these people and these families I... so he's stepping back opening his mouth and he doesn't really know what to say at this moment he has no words about how to describe it even we don't see any sign of grief. However, he's retreating from the question. He's shaking his head. He's closing his eyes to um, shut out the question. So this is the first day after a horrible event, and it's a little bit like you know if he would have, if he would know said aliens invade our planet or said an asteroid is hitting our planet in an hour and killing all life on Earth. I think at this moment we would not know what to say and what to do with that event. It wouldn't show signs of grief at that moment, as it is too far from any norm of any event we normally respond to. I, I, there's not even anything I can say. I mean, um, <laughs> how do you... I mean, my brother did this. He just can't get his I, head around it. This is like it's his moment. Done, you know, like he shot us. I mean, uh, if he'd have killed my kids, I couldn't be more dumbfounded. I mean... Okay, complete uh, disbelief. This is another interview. The last time she talked to him, no indication of anything. I mean, nothing. He was in Vegas and gone on a cruise or something, blah, 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 and see. So he seems I mean, a little bit hysterical at this moment. She's having trouble walking. I mean, <laughs> it's like I said, find out. So he's sometimes talking. he shows in the camera, but I think it's just a sign that he's not used to speaking in front of the camera. I mean, he's closing his eyes. It's like, you know, a sign of blocking out the question. It's a sign of that's, disbelief. It's not something that's that easy to come by, I assume. And he's not. I mean, he has no criminal record. He has nothing, 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 no affiliations with anything. So this is the first day after this horrible event, completely consistent with the stages of grieving. So the first stage of grieving is denial, disbelief, shock, 
and being hysterical. And this is reported by closing his eyes, shaking his head, wide open eyes, completely dumbfounded. Okay, let's look at day two. Let's see how his behavior has changed. So here already we see he's much more emotional on the second day. He shows signs of crying. His nose is a little bit stuffy now even. He's quieter at this moment. It has sunk in the events from the previous day. Um, I, someone texted me first thing thank you whoever texted me about drugs. <laughs> Okay, let's go to a later time. If you're gonna condemn Steve for being a high stakes gambler, the hotels are not gonna be very happy with you. Go find everybody, go find everybody and interview them who has a card. If he's angry at people condemning his brother for gambling and being rich. You know, he's got the highest level of membership card at, at a lot of these hotels. If these hotels say they don't know Steve, they're lying. But would that transfer indicate some sort of forethought and thing? Maybe, or was that, or did he routinely send her money? So he's still very angry and he has a hand block. So he wants to get a distance. Of the, my mom? Or Mary Ann? He, the, Mary Lou? I'm sorry. Okay. There's no pictures. Is, is he such a weirdo because he didn't have a Facebook page and posted 50,000 damn pictures? Okay, of slight himself signs of disgust day? and anger. It's weird. Can you sympathize with people who are maybe grasping for any I'm, sort of. Again, hand gesture. Believe Anger, me. fists. He's just crushed by this. And it has nothing to do with him. So he talks about his son now who is crushed. For a second without putting the card in. Because you don't get your points and stuff. If you don't have your card in the machine, you don't get Okay, so your fist again, sign of anger. And hand block said he had enough of it. Also, he speaks to the reporters very freely. So this is one of the remarkable things. He, he spoke for a long time on day one. And now he's again speaking for, I don't know, half an hour at least to the reporters. So somehow, you know, this is how he deals with these tragic events. He has to speak and tell stories about his brother, who he certainly admires at some level. So there are clear signs about it. But on the other hand, he's getting angry on the second day, he's getting emotional, and he shows this by the fist, by the hand block, and by the, by the narrowing of the eyes. Okay, in summary, also he didn't show any signs of grief on the first day. This is completely consistent with the stages of grieving. So day one is denial and disbelief and shock, being completely dumbfounded, even smiling, being hysterical, not knowing how to handle the situation. On the second day, it has sunk in much more. He's much more emotional. He is crying at some level and he shows signs of anger. So he's angry at the reporters. He's angry at himself. He's angry at his brother. And this is supported by his fist, the hand block, the narrowing of the eyebrows. Finally, my condolences to all the families who have been affected by this horrible event. So I hope you liked the video and stay tuned.